Yoshiwara Yukaku is a licensed entertainment district that used to exist in Tokyo. In those days, there were many men and fewer women in Edo, because Edo required a large physical workforce to reconstruct the city after the catastrophic fire in 1657. Since men in Edo were eager to see women, many courtesans were on the street and in bathhouses. The Edo shogunate designated the place to gather courtesans for maintenance of security. However, ordinary people could not afford to go to Yoshiwara due to the tremendous cost. As a result, many rich merchants, politicians, and intellectuals gathered at Yoshiwara and the district became a source of fashions. Yoshiwara is the dream of men but not for women. What does it mean? What is inside? Let's take a look. Firstly, there is a magnificent huge gate welcoming visitors. This is the only gate of Yoshiwara, and courtesans are prohibited to escape through this gate for any reason. By the way, since the district was surrounded by a moat, courtesans are completely isolated from the town of Edo. The next thing we see is the main street where people stroll, and they enjoy seeing beautiful things such as cherry blossoms and courtesans. At the center, courtesans wear umbrellas. Oiran, the highest rank of courtesans, is on the way to visit the customer. On the other alley, men are looking seriously at the inside of the lattice, because they are choosing the woman to sleep with. To see what happens to courtesans, I'd like to elaborate on their daily life through Ukiyo-e. Courtesans chronically suffered from a lack of sleep. At 10 a.m., they wake up and get ready for the daytime show. In principle, all meals and garments served are charged, so they have to work hard to pay off. The daytime show is not so busy as night, courtesans spend their time practicing performance, writing a letter, and sometimes they enjoy fortune-telling. Around 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., the nighttime begins, and Yoshiwara comes alive. Oiran enters the room to see the customer. Her facial expression does not seem so happy, but it looks sexy somehow. At 10 p.m., the courtesan pours and passes sake to her customer. Meanwhile, her young attendant fights with her desire for sleep. It is natural because they are usually seven or eight years old. At 6 a.m., after spending the night with a customer, courtesans have to wake up to send him off. This courtesan tries to help him put the jacket on, and says, please come again to see me. And finally, at 8 a.m., courtesans go to bed for two hours. This hard schedule is a part of the reason why courtesans could not live so long. In the heyday of Yoshiwara, it is said that there were more than 3,000 courtesans. However, there are only a few selected women who were admired and called Oiran, and other courtesans die at an average of 22 years old due to diseases such as syphilis, or the punishment of trying to escape. Oiran brings tremendous money to brothels which cost approximately $4,500 just to see her once, so she has many privileges. For example, they have their own private room, and sometimes they could refuse customers by their judgment. In this severe environment, who could be Oiran? How did they become? Let's check the definition of Oiran in a broad sense before ending this video. Needless to say, Oiran should be the perfect woman who is extremely beautiful, elegant, and smart. Since she meets intellectuals, she has to know many things so that she can catch up with their conversation. To meet the demand of her customers, brushing up on her skills is essential. At the age of seven or eight years old, the manager of the brothel chooses beautiful girls who have the potential to become Oiran. They are treated special, learning many skills such as writing, songs, and musical instruments by professionals. At the same time, selected girls are in charge of Oiran and learn the behavior through supporting Oiran's daily life. The number of courtesans and Oiran is not officially recorded, but it is said that only 2% of courtesans could become Oiran. Since the Ukiyo-e that we've looked through are made for commercial purposes, 
these women look incredibly beautiful and delightful. But in reality, they were desperate to survive in the harsh environment. To enjoy more Japanese art including cartoons and manga, I hope this knowledge will help you deeply understand the historical background of artworks. This is the end of this video, thank you very much for watching. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions or requests, and make sure to subscribe, give thumbs up if you like.